Hello students, welcome to Google Classroom Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will explain how you can join a Google Meet for online classes. As we all are aware of the situation that our classes are going to be conducted online. So in order to be part of uh, an online session uh, through Google Meet, you actually, the first thing is that you need a code, a class code or Google Meet link. So the, the code or link is required in order to join an online class. Your teacher of the, uh, of the respective subject will provide you the code. Maybe he could provide the code through email or maybe he provide the code through the Google Classroom. It depends on the nature of the, of the teacher. So I am going to suppose that the code or the link has already been provided to you by your concerned teacher. So the first thing is that you have to log in to your uh, personal Gmail account or your official Gmail account. I would recommend that you use the official uh, Gmail, uh, the official account for logging into the Google Classroom. Once you log in, you have to select the Meet from here, which is a component, a tool, a gadget from the Google. Select the Meet. Here you have two options. You can create your own meeting or you have to join one. So we are interested in joining a meeting, uh, an online session, online class. For that we have to enter the code. So the code, I am sure it must be provided to you by your faculty member. In my case, I know the code. So I will paste the code here. It is actually a link. Next thing is that you have to click on the join button. Once you click on the join button, you have to wait a bit for the system to let you connect to the, to the classroom. Click on the join button and that's it. It is recommended that you have to mute your uh, microphone throughout the session. If you do not mute your microphone, it is going to create troubles or problems for the, for the resource person, for your teacher and as well as for your fellow. So once you logged in, sometime the microphone will be muted by default. But if it is not, please turn off your microphone as well as your camera if you are using a low bandwidth. After that, you will see you will listen you will be able to listen to the lecturer and you will you would also be able uh, to see the the content presented by your teacher for example let me share a contents and you will be able to see the contents right over here let me show you so see that my teacher has shared the contents with me and you would be able to see them here on your own screen Okay, one more important thing. If you want to ask a question during the lecture, so the proper way to ask a question is to select this option here, which is the raise hand option. Once you click on this option, it will send a message to the teacher that the students want to ask a question. Whenever he feel comfortable, he will respond to you. And then once he replied, you would be able to ask the question before. Remember, before asking the question, you have to unmute your microphone. If you don't do that, you will uh, you will be able to ask your question. But the, but the teacher will not be able to listen to your question. So once you raise your hand and the teacher allow you to ask question, you have to unmute your microphone. A second way to ask a question is to use the chat window. Click on this chat icon and just type your, your question here. For example, my question is, what is the role of assignment operator in Python? I type the question and then click on this play button. It will send your message to the teacher. Depending on the nature of the teacher, he can either reply to text in response of your question or maybe he or she will provide the answer by voice communication. So this is a short video about how you can join 